Reductive amination is a reaction that converts either an aldehyde or ketone to a primary, secondary, or tertiary amine. So here I'm showing a ketone, but I want to make a note that this is appropriate for either an aldehyde or a ketone, your choice. This reaction is all these reagents at once, so this is not a multi-step reaction. We use initially some acid catalyst and then this NH2R reagent. The R could be um, hydrogens as well, so this could be an NH3 or it could be an NH2R. It really just depends on what you would like to put onto the to the carbon of the aldehyde or ketone if you want to make a primary or secondary or tertiary amine. And then the reagent that we're using here, here, uh, sodium cyanoborohydride, is a very um, mild, very mild reducing agent. And this reaction proceeds via an imine intermediate. So in this reaction, even though all the reagents are put together in all, all bundled up together, it does take place in multiple steps. The acid and the, um, uh, the amine, NHR2, whatever amine you're using here, will initially make an imine, as, as we have learned. So this is an imine. The sodium cyanoborohydride that's present is only reactive towards imines. So you can have the sodium cyanoborohydride with the aldehyde or the ketone, nothing is going to happen. Once the imine is synthesized, the bond, the carbon nitrogen bond is reduced from a double bond to a single bond and you end up with, in this case, we're making a tertiary amine. So it's a pretty cool reaction, um, and mostly because it's really the only method that we have for synthesizing like whatever we want. This could be primary, or it could be secondary, or it could be tertiary amine.